So yesterday was a crazy day. Not just a crazy day, but it's a, a day to remember, a lesson, and uh, something we shall live to, to always learn from, I'll say. Before I tell you the story about yesterday, first let me introduce myself. My name is Marwa, uh, I'm a Kenyan YouTuber. I travel around the world showcasing people different cultures and my just travel adventures. Sometimes I do inspirational videos, building. I do construction, I love building. Uh, that being said, there's a house right there. I don't know if you can see it. We built it in 10 days. I'll be taking you there later because also this marks the end of the story of that house right there. It's kinda a mini, mini bungalow. Anyway guys, welcome. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful sunny day. Uh, the sun is rising up. The time now is 8. I don't know if you can see. 8.19, that's the sun. The wind is blowing. But uh, maybe it's taking away the bad energy and the stories. So from the title of this video, you can tell things are not super okay. Uh, last night, uh, my dad and my brother didn't sleep home something funny really really happened so <clears throat> I don't know if I'm the right guy to tell this story but uh, because I posted it on my uh, social media telling you we are now not allowing visitors in our home no matter who you are even if you're the president or who we shall not allow anybody in our home unless you have an appointment with us and very specific appointment that uh, needs needs you to be our home one thing is guys uh, we know you guys love us i'll be explaining why all this you know you we know you guys love us you love us so much you really adore us we inspire you a lot you love our family because we show you all our stories and you guys are always happy to to watch me every day like right now you're watching me and my sister my brother my mom the entire family and all maybe the neighbors we've brought to this uh, social media space but i have to remind you where this came from um back in 2016 i was uh okay i thought somebody opened the gate but it's the wind back in 2016 i was living in colombia when i was there um i was really lonely in a room and uh, i loved watching one artist called Damon Platinum and Casey Neistat, who is a YouTuber like me. When I was there, I was really inspired. I wanted to be like this Damon Platinum guy because he was uh, he was my hero in a way that I would relate with him. I would be like this guy was just like me, but now he's doing really great. That I would wish. To be like him in a good way, you know, like he's my mentor. Or he was my mentor then, 2016. So I opened a YouTube channel. I opened a YouTube channel just to do my shenanigans, you know, to show you my stories. Those days I was more into talking about dating and lifestyle abroad. I thought I would impress my boys back home by showing them my lifestyle there. And they would be very happy to see my videos because they kept asking me, Marwa, how is in Colombia? That story is all related with my first trip out of Africa when I left Africa. Um, anyway, to cut the long story short, is I opened a YouTube channel as a joke. As a joke. I didn't know it would be this big. I didn't know it would have this impact in society. Me, I was just doing something I love, something I thought my boys back home in Kenya by that time would be impressed to see how maybe Mara was talking to a beautiful girl in Colombia in the streets or maybe my just normal day to day life and that's how I ended up starting YouTube and, and that's what inspired me to start YouTube so but the people who gave me the roadmap to do it was Damon Platinum who was a musician I wanted to be like him because he was growing I liked him I liked his vigor I liked his energy because this guy grew from nothing to something 
he's the guy who didn't have even shoes and I was the same guy I would relate or I related with him so much that I wanted to be like him but he was a musician and I couldn't sing so I said you know what I could do vlogs like Casey Neistat so these two personalities made me today so why is that story actually so important that story has made me a uh, very popular through my videos on YouTube. It's been five years of hard work. I think over five years, let me see. So it started in 2016. So let's say 2017, one year, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, this is 2023. Oh, wow. I just realized over, seven, over six years I've been doing this. Okay, so <clears throat> it's reached a point where entertaining has become my career and I entertain through traveling sometimes. Depends. It's my whole me. I bring you all. You guys have seen. Sometimes when I'm home, I bring you my village life. When I'm abroad in Mexico, I show you Mexico, uh, maybe nightlife, travel all type of stories i bring them together and i've gained a lot of fans including you watching now some people consider me as their mentor in a very very big way which i really appreciate as marwa and um, i'm not so surprised why people find me their mentor because most of the time most of the time i'm not perfect that's why i'm using the word most of the time I try as much as possible to do my best, to do my best in everything, in being honest, straightforward, working hard, diligence, in everything I do, <clears throat> I do my best. Actually, when I sleep at night, the biggest question I ask myself is, did I give it my best? If the answer is yes, I sleep like a baby, I sleep peacefully, because I know this is it. This is all I need to do. Give it my best. Not be number one. Not be the top. Not show others I'm better than them. But did I do the best of me? Okay. So, I know guys I will be like Mara. Go to the point we are waiting. Okay. So, due to what I do, social media, it has brought a lot of success. Uh, I'll say it's success because we human beings consider some things success and some things as failures. But personally, my success is purely transforming my home from something that it wasn't, in short, is from poverty to a better life. I don't know what you consider rich or wealthy. Some people consider health as wealthy. So... I'll say a better life, in lack of a better word to say. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. Last night, my dad and my brother slept in a police cell. I know, I don't know this is crazy, but that's the reality of life. My brother, for those guys who don't know him, is David Jr. Or <clears throat> is my youngest brother. And I have my dad who always shows up on my video. Two of them slept in a police cell because of uh, flowers. So this is crazy. So something funny really happened. Really happened. This is funny. It sounds corny. But because uh, I don't know exactly what it is, all this video is a speculation. And I have to make that clear. A speculation means it's not factual. I, because investigations are still going on. So I, I'm only imagining. I'm only trying to imagine. I'm only trying to see what could it, what's going on, I'm, you know? So... <clears throat> My brother, as I speak, is not home. My dad, as I speak, is not home. As I speak, maybe when you're watching this video, they will be back home or not. But I speak is they are not home. They slept in a police cell. So what actually happened? Here is the story. Four days ago, two young kids came to my construction site. Okay. 
four days ago. Very young, I would say 10 or 11 years old boys came to my construction site. They were carrying flowers. I'll give you an example of the flowers they were carrying, but they are not here. Just regular, normal flowers in their hands. That was around um, 6.45 p.m., close to 7 p.m., okay? So these kids came and they were sitting outside my gate because they were new. So they didn't come into my compound where I'm doing my construction. I still call it a construction site because we're still constructing. So when these kids came, no, I was actually leaving my construction site and I met these kids outside, I asked them, Hey, what are you doing here with these flowers? It was very late, very late, guys, for kids to be outside that time. Then they said, oh, we brought you flowers. I said, you brought me flowers? Did I send you flowers? They said, no, we brought you flowers. So I asked, I asked them, this time of, of the day, because it was very late. I told them, look, 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 it's very late. Personally, I don't feel comfortable being late or being, being outside at this hour. Look, here it's $3. First I asked them, where is your home? First I asked them, where is your home? They said their home was seven kilometers from my home. Actually, they lived or they were living or they were from the border town, which is seven kilometers. Actually, on a motorbike, it could be uh, maybe five minutes or eight minutes, okay. But walking, it would have taken them maybe at least 45 minutes to reach there. And it was late and there were kids. So I told them, hey, look, 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 please, please. Uh, me, I'm not looking for flowers, okay. My con it's, this is still a construction site. I'm not looking for flowers, but here is three dollars, take it and use it as your transport to go home. Because from my, my, my home, my village, to where they are, it's like $2 on a motorbike for two people because there were two boys. Actually, a good guy or a good uh, taxi man, border border guys, you call them border border guys with motorbikes, would carry those two kids for uh, $1, which is 100 Kenyan shillings. So I gave them $3 because I wanted to ensure they go back home safely and sound. So the guys left. They left with their flowers. They went. The following day, the following day, around 10 a.m., the same, same young kids came back to my construction site with, this, with flowers and more flowers. Okay? Remember, I didn't buy the other flowers. It was too late. I told them to go back. It was very late. And honestly, I didn't need flowers. Okay, the same same kids came back to my construction site. So remember, this is our home where I'm filming this video. My construction site is more on the other side down there. So these kids passed my home, still followed me where I was doing my construction. So they came and found me. They said, hey boss, people call me boss here, maybe because uh, I'm building and uh, you know, that's another story for another day. To say, hey boss, we brought you flowers. I said, you again? I told them, look, I don't need these flowers. I need, I need bigger flowers because I don't know if you guys have seen. I bought, I bought these pines or, uh, or uh, yeah, pines. No, is this pines actually or uh, how do they call them? They, they look like coconuts. It's, it's the same family. I bought big ones like this size. Even this is small. I, I bought maybe nearly half of this tree here, you know? The size, I bought bigger ones because I'm doing some certain project where I'm trying to see if these pines can, is it pines? It's not pines. Palms, sorry, palms. I'm trying to see if these palms can actually adjust to the environment. And if they work, I can buy actually full grown coconuts, okay? So the same kids came, I told them, look, I am not, I don't want these flowers. I don't know. Guys, I am always a very soft-hearted guy. I'm a guy who always helps people. But on this day, I don't know why I actually didn't want these flowers. I would have planted them anywhere in my compound because my compound is so big. 
I would have planted them anywhere. But I said no. I said no. I told and and all my there were lots of people in my in my construction site. So so they came to see these boys who brought the flowers like they are selling flowers. So so me as the boss, I was like, guys, look, I, I told I told my, my my masons and the guys who are helping me there, like, I don't know why these kids are uh, insisting that I need to buy these flowers from them. But me, I don't want them. So I said, I don't want the flowers, guys. I told the kids, please, me, I am not ready to buy flowers because it's not the right time for me to buy flowers. Me, I'm buying trees, not flowers. That's what I told the kids. So the kids uh, felt disappointed. I didn't give them any money because remember the other day I had given them three dollars to take to use as transport to go to their home. So the kids left my construction site. So as they left, they came to our home. He, this is our home now. They came here. So they came and found my younger brother here. They say they told my younger brother, "Hey, we want to sell you flowers." They came to our home, our home, uninvited. Inside they came. My mom was here, my dad was here, we had visitors. Even these other guys, there were some visitors, if you guys have been following, there was this guy called Finding Ian and the other guy who they were, if you've seen my last video. Those guys were still here and, and they found, they found, okay, yes, I have a visitor here. It's a guy right there with a the motorbike. Egati. Egati utani ngoja nafanya video. Utani ngoja mra nafanya video. Eh utani ngoja muda mrefu kidogo. Karibu nusu saa. I'm telling him he is one of my masons. I told him to wait. I'm doing a video. So this 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 young kids remember initially they were coming on my construction site. So I said no. And it's very funny how I said no because most of the time I'm very easy going and uh, I'm the guy who always is merciful. I say, okay, 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 okay. I don't want you to go back with, I would have said, I would have easily said that. I don't want you to go back with your flowers. Give me these flowers, I give you even this, this, and you go. But I said no, I said no to, to it. I don't know, I, this is God's divine. God protected me in this. I'll tell you why, because at the end of the story, it will make sense. So they came to our home uninvited. There were many visitors here. My mom was around. It was on a weekend, actually, like four days ago or three days ago, two days ago, I don't know. Just a, a few days ago. So they came to our home. They told my younger brother, hey, do you want to buy flowers? We have beautiful flowers we want to sell to you. And the way our compound looks, it looks like a compound we can plant flowers, okay? So. My younger brother was him. I don't know what happened now. I can't speak because I was not there. But the end of the story is my younger brother agreed to buy the flowers. So my brother agreed to buy flowers. And the funny thing is by that time, uh, my younger brother was trying to fix this area here. I don't know if you can see this area. Okay. My younger brother was trying to fix this area, planting new grass because uh, I think he, he, he had brought, he had, you see? You see? My younger brother was planting grass, even still others are drying up. So he was planting this area, uh, uh, grass. So when the boys came and offered uh, flowers, my younger brother was like, okay, I'll buy the flowers. So my younger brother bought flowers. He bought flowers from these young kids. They were like 10, 11. Remember, they came to our compound. We never went to look for them. Me, I refused when they came to my compound. I told, and I didn't refuse by a bad heart. I just said, it's not the right time for me to buy these small flowers because I need trees in my compound, not flowers. You should understand. I need trees like, and I don't, I, I, I am very selective which type of trees I plant on my, on my uh, compound. So my brother bought these flowers. He planted the flowers. You can see, this is one of, this is one of the left flowers. Actually, you can tell. This is one of this is one of the left flowers. This one here, this one here. See. So I'll tell you the story. This is the only one left here. You see, my brother's planting grass. 
it's not long ago it's not long ago so you know my brother planted the flowers i don't know which i don't know how they agreed on the price i don't know but as i i don't know because i was not here most of the time i spent my time on my construction site more than our home here because we need to finish building there i need to move in my house so um the following day yes actually the funny thing is my brother was was planting more trees and flowers you can tell this is another one here but this was not from the boys i think my brother bought it from somewhere else not just one we have another one here we have another one here we have a tree i don't know if you guys can see we have a tree here but it's not doing so well and we have another another flower flower here you see like this one you can tell it's been here for a while close to a whole month or even two so i think those boy, those boys brought some type of this type of flowers i don't know because me uh, when they brought i said no i said i didn't want to buy them you know so let me tell you what happened now the following day which was yesterday after my brother had planted the 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 flowers okay you can even tell this this place looks fresh where they had planted uh, i'm looking i'm looking for a place where he had planted these flowers one is here yeah this one here or here you can tell this place look it's it's been uprooted yesterday they uprooted it you can tell that space there's another one here you can tell this one here it's, the soil still looks very you know wet it's it's not like this it looks different you can tell this is different f f from that so so my pl my my brother had planted this uh these flowers the following day which was yesterday police officers came to our home with a land rover with a police car i don't know if you guys know a land rover and uh I, from here I'm not sure of the story now because I was not home when they arrived but all I know is they had arrested my brother and they arrested my dad uh, what was the reason for them to be arrested because they said uh, the flowers that the boys brought to our home the boys had stolen them somewhere which we don't know okay Se seven kilometers from our home okay now this becomes a very tricky situation even me right now what i will say from from right now henceforth is a speculation i am not sure you guys will help me in the comment section if i'm wrong or right okay i am not sure i make i'm making this very clear it's a speculation it's just my thoughts as you can have your own thoughts on this so the police officers came arrested my dad arrested my brother i don't know i i think they had arrested my brother somewhere then they came with him to our home then when they arrived here i don't know what happened then they arrested my dad now last night my dad and my younger brother slept in a police cell okay now the owner of these flowers is asking for two thousand five hundred dollars okay because i know about that because there is one guy who is my friend uh he's a very senior man i respect him a lot me and him we do a lot of businesses because uh i buy construction materials f uh, using his company like sand stones you know so i'm told the guy who complained that the flowers were stolen from him they have a relationship with the guy who supplies me with sand so my dad under police custody asked me to talk with this guy who supplies me with the sand to talk with his family member to see if they can harmonize the situation and lower you know and and, and just just make things happen like hey let's forgive uh, let's see what we can do and and we clear these things out i don't know if you guys understand what i'm trying to say in other words is my dad wanted the guy i already know 
who supplies me with sand, who is a family member to the guy who uh, flowers were stolen from, to harmonize the situation, to be a mediator, to be a guy saying, hey, look, I know these guys, I have been working with their sons, let's just see how we can fix this and, and end these stories. Now, this is the funny thing. This is now the funny thing, where questions are being questioned and asked. When these police officers came to our home, they took pictures of the flowers. They were even taking pictures of those flowers I've shown you, which were not part of those flowers which were brought. They went to Mama Anne's place, Mama Anne's place here, they took pictures. Even they still acclaim that they may come to again arrest Baba Anne for flowers. And these flowers were brought here by another guy called Fellow the Boy, which I'll be talking about his story before the end of this video. Okay? So, uh, as a family, we are not sure what's actually going on because I cannot tell how can young kids leave all these homes in the village and remember this is not near a village these kids left a big town we have a big town called Isbania. it's at the border this town has everything it has immigration offices it has police stations it has all these things okay i cannot i cannot comprehend how these very young kids left all those homes close to i'll say fifty thousand homes I don't know if it's 50 or 30,000 to come to this very secured in the forest, like in the village, in the middle of the village, to sell us flowers. And once we, my younger brother planted these flowers, he got arrested for it. He got arrested for them. I can't comprehend. And these police officers also took pictures of uh, Mama Ann's compound. Okay, they took pictures here of these trees. I don't know if you guys can see trees here. Claiming that the same flowers came here. And these flowers here were bought uh, weeks ago, before even these kids came to our home. So, and now, realistically, the owner of the flowers is claiming he should be paid 2,500 US. 2,000 dollars, 500 US. And uh, I would still, and I still don't understand how just flowers can can make two people to be arrested, like they kill somebody, you know? Flowers, flowers, guys. I'm talking about these things, these flowers, 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 flowers. With out of respect, okay? With out of respect, property is property. Okay, people know they're worthy of their property. But was it the best way like to come to our home, arrest my younger brother, arrest my dad? And even the kid that the police arrested is not even the kid who sold the flowers to my younger brother. That's what my, I'm, I'm told. The kid who is at the police station is not even the same kids that came to our home to sell us these flowers. And think of these guys, these people, these are kids who came, and they actually when they came to a home, my, my mom and uncle questioned them, where did you get these flowers from? And they said, we got these flowers from Tanzania. We have friends who live in Tanzania. So they brought us these flowers so we can sell them and buy bags. That's what the, the kids said. So, and think of this. These are just flowers, guys. People come to your home and ask you, hey, do you want to buy flowers? And small kids, you say, okay. Me, they came, I said no. I said no to them. And actually the reason I said no is be not because uh, I didn't want to buy the flowers, it's because it was not the right time for me to buy flowers. <laughs> I said no to them because it was not the right time for me to buy the flowers. I just said, no, no, I, I'm not interested in flowers. I want to plant trees not flowers let me cut this story short before we end uh, we are fixing mama aunt hey tata abari yes 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 this is baba ann guys yes tunaona wacha wapake pake hiyo nyumba warudie hiyo rangi yes guys we are repeat yes uh, we are repeating this so that it can look again nice because a lot of construction has been going on 
Mulai orang ni sita pasatu kuzungusha zungusha tu. Eh, alat kita tu tak faham. Eh, ini saya mungkin nak orang nicipa pula. Eh, ini kemarin bil pun ada ia white. Eh, ini jenis ini ia white ini kerja ni kafir dia kuanza. Okay. Pasal dia ni kuanza tu yang kerja. Haiya, so, mulai mi good morning. Okay, so guys, we are repainting this house because. Look, we've done the ceiling board already. We've done the ceiling board. Uh, fellow the boy did this part. I'll be explaining uh, his story. And we have uh, inner ceiling. You see, we have a ceiling board. See, now I think the house is clear. Hey, Elizabeth, how are you? Fine. How, it's, it's okay, the house now? It's now okay. Yes, you guys have a bad. ceiling. Mm. You see, you, have, you can take shower in, inside. So, how will you get this? I think you need paraffin. Sorry, can I step in? I'm yeah. sorry, ma'am. Sorry, I have, I have gum boots. Guys, we fixed them a toilet. Okay. So now they can use a toilet. All you need is, all you need is to have water here, okay? Yeah. So you can, at night, you don't have to go outside. Mm. Yes. I think I'm officially saying uh, I've finished this project. And also we are doing some small repaints. You see places like this because of the ceiling. Mm. So that's why we have the guy to to do a little repaint. Okay. Mama, what's your pocket rangi? Eh, this is Mama Anne. Eh, mzuri sana, Mama. Una So she's selling. She's selling. She's selling some vegetables here. Una uzaji. These are fresh vegetables. Swega. Eh, hey, unauzaji? Zikoza 250. 250? Afanya 200. Kukuzia kama mtukuzia. But she's saying she's gonna reduce because I'm I'm one of their sons. Sijata kama nikona hiyo. Utatafuta bus change unilete. Aya. Alafu peleke uko nyumbani. Guys, you know, we eat fresh vegetables. What's your name? These are fresh vegetables, guys. Very traditional African fresh vegetables. Ah, yeah, Santa. Hi. Okay. So. Hey, naskia wate tu ali pika picha hapa wana seme tiata ini mawaya. Maren, na bara bara temiri. Na ang hamu kaji nuni sikurumu. Karibu kong. Karibu kong. So you know, the police officers came to this compound yesterday and took pictures, claiming also these flowers were like stolen, which. And these flowers have been here for weeks. You guys have seen us plant these flowers when we were building this house. And the incident I'm telling you happened like four days ago. So I don't know. I, that also tells me we need to put a CCTV cameras in our compound. And also we need to... So let me, let me finish up this story now. Let me finish up this story. Now, right now, as a family, we don't feel really comfortable and this is an is, this is non-negotiable now now this is a serious story for se the security of our family and to protect what we already have we shall right now as you watch this video henceforth we shall not allow anybody anybody to come to our home uninvited even if you're our biggest fan for the safety of our family to protect what we have and at the same time, uh, just for the peace of mind of our family, we have decided, like people, sh strangers should not come to our home, just because there are uh, Mara's followers or D. Mwango's followers, I don't know, David Jr.'s followers or Congrats Mom's followers. People feel like they should come and visit us without an appointment. We have, because now that's the reason why, because our home, we invite anybody anybody anytime people walk in walk out so that's the thing we've refused we've refused like we shall not allow visitors to come to our home and trust me guys you may be loving me as much as you love me you may be supporting me as much as you support me but i promise you guys you'll come to my home and i see you at our gate i will not even say hello to you i will not attend you maybe i'll say hello to you and that will be it but because now this is very, very problematic. Imagine we have visitors coming to our home. We don't know where they're coming from. We don't even if they have a gun in their, in their bag or anything. We don't even check them. We just allow people coming out to our home. 
sleeping in our home, sleeping, sharing the same space. I don't know. I don't know. Look how these kids came. These kids came saying, please buy, buy flowers. And I think I was the main target in this. I was the main target. They came to my place two times. I said no to them. And then they found my younger brother. Okay? So, from today, as I speak, personally as Maro, I will not be welcoming anybody. Even on my other house, I will not welcome anybody. I will not, I say anybody. Unless we have agreed, exchanged email, we have evidence of me and you talking that, look, I want to visit you. And also that being said, I know there are other people who genuinely want to come and visit us. We don't want to cut that. But at least it has to be procedural. I feel like at our level where we've reached, we cannot just let people walk in our home in and out. We don't know what people are planning out there for us. We don't know how many, uh, how many maybe setups or things like that people can plan for our home. We don't know. I was even thinking sometimes it's, it's, it's not good to overthink, especially negative stuff. But you have to see what we call worst case scenario. Imagine people just wake, coming to our home, sleeping in our home, and sometimes even other people are not even coming from far, just uh, here. So it makes me really uncomfortable, especially seeing what's going on. I feel like uh, some people, I'm not directly relating this to the incidence of flowers, but I generally feel some people could be planning other things that are not okay. And as a family, we have to say no to that. And very soon I will install, maybe it's not this season, but when I come back home for sure, I will install CCTV cameras in our home. Not just here, I will also install them on the other uh, property. Because even yesterday I'm told the police uprooted flowers which were not actually brought with these kids, but they wanted more evidence. So they took pictures and everything and, and uprooted even the flowers that that were not part of what the boys brought. So if we had CCTV cameras, we would have shown them before the boys came and after the boys came. But, uh, you know, everything happens for a good reason. That's all I believe, except for death. But these other things as humans, we grow and we become better in understanding how other human nature is. And what I've come to realize is the more you grow, especially growing in an environment where you used to live in that house, now you are moving to this new house. Other people are, are not okay with that, especially I've seen this in Africa mostly. Most Africans don't like to support their own. Most Africans are not used to success. And I'm not saying all, I am saying some, maybe I would say 50-50. Because anytime somebody tries to succeed, that's when they find all means to pull them down so as i speak my dad and my brother are in jail is it jail we call them cells jail is different jail is when already the judge has already made a decision ah yeah ma'am these are our goats so we are going to pick up so we to ma'am and i'm on this lady brought, brought has sold me some uh, traditional vegetables. This is my uncle. So that being said is, personally, I will not be attending anybody. Even taking pictures of my villa, this is the end of story. This is the end of the road. I will not be allowing anybody taking uh, pictures of my villa. I should do it. I'm the owner of the house. I should feel comfortable doing it. Not anybody coming when I'm not there, when I'm there. People are just taking pictures. I remember even the time I installed glasses. Before even I came to, inf to inspect glasses, already other people already taking picture, uh, videos of my house, putting them on the internet. I was far away from home. So I learned about my glasses from the internet. That's so wrong, you know? And at the same time, uh, we as a family will have to have a meeting, discuss uh, about the best way to deal with such situations where we feel like uh, people can plan. And this is the second time something similar happened. The other one, I will not talk about it because it's in court. Yes. So we are already feeling very, very, very targeted. We feel uh, this is not, uh, I don't know even how to describe it. 
I know the owner of flowers, maybe he's not involved in this, but if we keep adding up everything, it's, it's very, very fishy that the kids just chose our home, man. They came to our home and, and first they were on me, on my neck, saying, I don't know why, why, why it had to be kids, you know? Because, you know, kids, sometimes you, you feel merciful. You, you, because they were saying, hey, I want to sell this and, and buy a bag for school. Something like that. That's what they told my younger brother. And, 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 and you know, sometimes when it's kids, you try to be more nicer. You try to have a soft heart to do, I don't know. Me, right now as I speak, I'll be the one in a police cell. Me, right now. If I bought the flowers. But somehow God protected me. Somehow things didn't go the way they were meant to be. So they went the best way for me. Trust me, man. Trust me. I, I am very, very nice. I have a very soft heart. Most of the time I tend to support nearly everybody who comes around me. But on this, this fateful day, I said no. I said I don't want the flowers. And I said no, like seriously, no. I said no. And they went back with the flowers. Then the following day, the police arrived. They came, I think, seven police officers, seven police officers with guns. I'm told. I was not home. I was at my construction site. Yeah. So that's what has happened to our family. And uh, that's be, uh, that has happened is, as I speak, my brother and my, my dad are in a police cell. So as a family, uh, me personally now, I'll speak for myself. I will, not, I will not be attending to any visitor who claims to know me or being my follower or subscriber unless you have an appointment. Call me a bad guy, call me a good guy, call me whatever, call me stingy, call me selfish, call me whatever you want. But for the safety of my family, for the safety of myself, otherwise I'll go down, bro. They'll put me down. They'll put me down. Now, that being said, I'll tell you a story why I am not happy about one guy called Felo the Boy. This guy, okay, let me have a rest and I'll, I'll do the video about him. So guys, we are doing a small retouch. It's not actually painting, it's a retouch because a lot of work has been going on again. Remember now we have a ceiling board. You can see beautiful ceiling board. We have two types, we have the pods and we have this. So, and the entire house has a ceiling board. And personally, I'm very, very happy that officially I'm signing out from this house, officially. You can tell we have uh, already electrical bulbs, cables, you see they're hanging. All is left is for us to buy a meter so that we can be paying for electricity. And right now, as we speak, there's no electricity in my village. I think some, something like sabotage is happening here. The whole community has electricity, except our home. That's kind of crazy. The whole community, except our home. And this has been close to one week. I feel like there's a little sabotage. There's a lot of targeting of our home. Yeah, and, and, and you know, it's, a, it's a very funny thing when people say, there is money there, so let's do this. Like yesterday, the guys were calling me, asking me for money to, to re reinstall electricity. So I had to call the main company and ask them, oh, Kenya Power, nowadays, you guys, you guys, you guys uh, nowadays ask for locals to pay you to dig a hole to, to put a, an electrical pole. Remember last time when there was a lot of heavy rains here, some electrical posts fall down. All of them have been fixed except the ones very close to our home. So we've been staying with no electricity now close to maybe eight days. Imagine eight good days. And I have to make videos, I have to upload these videos. Please guys give the video a like, subscribe to the channel. Now let's talk about fellow the boy. I don't even I don't even I don't want even to mention his name in this video. The only thing I have a problem with this guy is all his videos is about charity and there is no straight transparency in it. And I've already received complaints from people who sent him money saying, oh, I sent him this, but on camera he gave this. 
I will not talk much about this young guy. But all I will say is, if you are doing business with him, kindly let it be you and him. Me, this guy came saying he's, he's an orphan. He, he had a sad story. He wants me to help him have a thousand followers, which I did. But I've realized his aim was not to build a YouTube channel. His aim was to see how he can get money from subscribers, from my subscribers, which I gave him. Facts. He's, he's, he's not a guy who is trying to build a channel. He's a guy who is trying to see, oh, today I have 3,000 people. What can I get these 3,000 do to me in the name of charity, in the name of helping others? That's not what I, I am intending. And I don't want people to complain one day and say, Marwa, you know, I sent money to your village through this guy and I didn't see it doing something. And also we had a small problem where people are asking me about the kitchen. How can you build a kitchen without the house being built? Where will be the kitchen be built? The kitchen should be built when the house is complete. That's how it works. Anyway, at the same time I have to recommend and say he did a recommendable job because he, through his, the donations that he received, he bought this tank, okay? He bought this tank. He bought this tank, he fixed water. Now Mama Ann, anytime there will be rain here, Mama Ann will be only opening here. You know, he will, she will be opening here and the water will be just flowing. Actually, I think in the entire village, Mama Ann has the best water system. At the same time, we built a borehole for them. So also here, there is a borehole here. Kuna Majindani? Yes, there's water inside here, so they can get water from here. So, and we put electricity, we put a ceiling. Personally, personally, I'll say, please, this is the end of the road of this uh, compound. Even me coming to this house uh, from now henceforth, I'll, I'll, forbid, and I'll, I'll forbid myself from coming to this home. I want to give them their privacy. I want them to be happy now. I want them to enjoy. And any money being donated from now henceforth, especially through other means. You know, we put a GoFundMe where you can see how money is being donated. But these other things that people want to donate personally through people, that's you and them. Don't use my name. I don't want people mentioning my name. Oh, this is the Maro's house he built, or this is the house Maro built. So we want this. We want to put a fence. We want no. Do business with them. Personally, I have restricted uh, especially YouTubers coming here to these two constructions from today. I want these homes to have privacy because I think this is what we need to protect the most, privacy and security. We don't have, we don't have, we don't have to be too much. I know we built this house on camera, but it's reached a point where we have to give it privacy. I want people to understand that this is a home now. It's very happy to be a home. Now we are fixing this. You see this small right things like this that's why we are repainting so the house can look again brand new and that will be the end of it okay you know yes that will be the end of it guys please people coming here to film videos please give this home some sense of of privacy let these people try let them weed their their flowers you know but if somebody else wants to bring something, come at a personal level. Yes. And one thing I just don't like about Fellow the Boy is all his videos is about help, help, help. Please make videos about inspiring people. I thought you wanted to build a YouTube channel, not a charity organization. You should have told me you want a charity organization. And I've received complaints. I've received complaints. I'm telling you, 100% I can show you. Some people saying, oh, I sent this man. As I was saying is also my camera turned off. Also the mom to get it. I don't know if you know this young guy, came to complain our home saying, oh, some people decided to buy, to build a toilet for me, but fellow the boy has changed all this. All I'm trying to say is please, 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 if you do business with anybody now, from now, henceforth, I will not be responsible for that. You do business with them, I have no problem with that, but at least put my name out of that. I know sometimes it's me who introduces you to these people. At the same time, I come back saying don't work with them. The thing is, these guys come crying. 
they come crying they come crying saying oh please maro i know you can help me maro please please i don't have parents i don't have this but i didn't know this is the type of help they want where you know it's like what can i benefit from this i want people to build youtube channels from hard work i want people to build youtube channels i want people to earn from their youtube channel from monetization not from other dubious activities you know putting kids on, on on social media you don't even who the owner of these kids are especially aligning 20 kids i saw him putting that filming dead people like oh he's a dead person send some no this is not how it, it works my intention for me to help the villagers here was to empower them to show them a way so they can work hard and achieve their dreams but not work hard in processing how to make money from everything every video they do i want you to make videos inspire people travel do whatever but again if you want money make it very clear please i am a broke guy send me money make it that clear that's all i want but like now let me tell you a story that's happened he talked to a girl or a lady i don't know if it's a girl or a lady i don't know i don't know because i have no information they agreed on some deal this lady has been watching me for a long time and he got in contact with this guy I'm talking about. This guy promised the lady that... No, the lady said he has a, she has a brother in Kenya. And the lady wanted his brother to be a YouTuber, okay? So this guy talked with him. Sorry, this guy talked with her, okay? Let me call her Lady X in, in States. He's, she's in America. So this guy talked with with lady x promising him how he would help his brother okay achieve his youtube dream so me i was sitting down there on my construction site and a motorbike arrives with a guy sitting on it a guy who i don't know let me say a stranger in this case and no disrespect i'm just telling you the story and uh the guy says no, the guy who was right, the guy who brought him there told him, hey, that is Maro. Hey, that is Maro. So clearly this guy didn't know who, who Maro was. So I asked this guy, why are, you, why are you pointing me? Why are you saying that's Maro? What's the plan? What's the deal here? And I asked this guy, why are you looking for me and you even don't know me? Why? So I got curious to know that. And that's because we allow strangers to our home anytime. It's like, it's like a toilet. So I asked this guy, why, why, why are you looking for me? I don't know you. Who, what's your name? And he said, oh, me, I was sent here by my sister. Uh, let's say call her Sister X to come so that you guys can help me open a YouTube channel and you teach me how to run a successful YouTube channel. I asked him, what's your sister's name? She t he told me, in this case, Sister X. So I opened... On my chat, I didn't see her name anywhere. I asked her, are you sure? Me, Marwa, I talked to your sister. We agreed that you come and I teach you. I open your YouTube channel and teach you how to do. He said, uh, I, said I, I, I said, are you sure? Can you call your sister now and confirm? He said, no, 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 no. It's not actually Marwa, but it's the guy called Fellow the Boy. Okay. So I called the guy. Hey, where are you? No, I told him, okay, okay, before I called the guy, I told him, okay, if it's him, why didn't you come with him to my construction site? Why did he leave you alone and you came alone to my construction site looking for me? A guy who I have, I have no idea who you are. I've never talked to your sister. Why? And this guy was traveling from far. To make this story eligible or uh, genuine, the guy was coming from a place called Mbita. So maybe the sister will know I'm talking about him if she's watching this video. So I was really, really strict and I became serious. I asked, no, 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 there's something fishy going on here. First is, I don't know what your sister and this guy agreed for you to come here. I don't know which deal they agreed on. So you call that guy who told you to come here so he can come here and I ask him. So he said, no, I tried calling him today and the guy said he's very far. He's unavailable today. I told him, then why did you come to a village when the guy who is supposed to welcome you 
or to pick you even at the bus stop, he's unavailable. Why? So I asked some of the boys around there to give me the number of this guy who is fellow the boy. I called him. I called him, hey, what's up? Where are you? He said, oh, I'm around here. Around? Okay. But why did you tell this guy you are so far away that you can't even meet him now? And this guy is traveling thousands of miles or hundreds of miles to come and see you. So I told him, come here, we solve this. So to cut the long story short, you can tell the type of guy I'm dealing with. A very dishonest guy and a guy who tries to see opportunity how to milk money from my subscribers. That is not the intention of my YouTube channel. We built this house from a letter. You guys know the story. And I don't want that to be used in a very bad way. That next time we want to do another project, people will be afraid because they've been sending money to Africa and the money didn't, did, didn't do what they, they agreed. And those people who are sending money to these guys, why are you doing that? And we have a GoFundMe. Why? You should write and tell us, hey, Mara, this is to build tank. GoFundMe is there. Why are you putting money where we don't? So, any charity work done by that guy, let it be him and his people. And if this is the case, I will be afraid. I told all YouTubers to isolate him because it's not a good thing what he's doing. He should come straight to me and tell me, Mara, I need money to buy a bed. I don't have a bed. He should do that directly to him, not use dubious activity. Like now, I don't know how much money the, the, the lady in the US, Lady X, sent him or they agreed upon. Maybe it's free, maybe it's not. I have no information. But him sending strangers. Now he, he's, the, he's the dictator, he's the guy who tells me, who is the guy who tells people where I am, what they should come and say. What type of guy is that? What type of guy? And when I complain, people say, Maro, why don't you have friends? I don't have friends for that reason, because these are not genuine friends. These are friends who are coming to see, what can this guy help me with? What can I take from this guy? And any small opportunity you give them, they turn against you. So will I sit down and see people sending money to Africa with no concrete reason, with no accountability? And the funny thing about this guy, when people send money to him, he says, the owner wanted not to be mentioned. And also he wanted the money not to be mentioned. What type of business is that? For transparency's sake, you should at least tell us how much money you received. That's all I'm saying. I'm waiting for Miriam, the Somali girl, and we're gonna do a video. Guys, before I end this video, is uh, uh, let me introduce you to a special guest here. What's your name? Genyeda is my YouTube name. Yes. We shortened it, you know. Yes. My name is Marion. Yes. Um, you guys have been seeing me around Marwa. Yes. Um, you know, experiencing village life. Yes. In your Bahanzi. Yes. And uh, so far so good. Even right now, yes. I came. I did two videos. Oh. And, and it's only nine in the morning. Oh, you already did two yeah, videos. Yeah, two videos. Guys, now I think from the next videos you're gonna be seeing me and her more. Yeah. I, I will be teaching her uh, village life. I don't know if she will survive. <laughs> <laughs> will you survive? Yes, I will survive. <laughs> for sure? For sure, for sure. Okay, because but... <laughs> I have, I've stopped my construction. Yes. So once this video is out, you have more it's, time. it's the series between me and you. I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready for that. Guys, please check her out. And uh, you said people are, were asking questions. Yeah, well, first I came here to check on you. To yes. make sure everything with the family is good. Yeah, I was actually telling them the story, what happened about flowers. And now yeah, we have to Now they know what's happened. Yes. Yeah, because some people... Uh, yes. Because, you know, I, they saw me here with yeah, you. Yeah. They're asking me, oh, um, is it you, uh, what Maro is complaining about? No. You know, guys. It has nothing to do with It has nothing her. to do with me. Because yes. even me, when I first came to this, uh, to you, yeah. the first two days, I was actually staying at a hotel. Yeah. I'm like, I'm very, very considerate person. Yeah. And I don't go places unless I'm invited. Yeah, I, inv so I invited her. I invited him. 100%. 100%. And even in this video, I insist yeah. that... We are not cutting people off. Yes. But all we want is at least we have some, like pro program. Like yeah. Today we are because you've been here. Mm. How do you see people here? To be honest, guys, I'm yeah. not even gonna lie. Like yes. even I think that's very respectful if you know Marwa and then yes. you make appointment with him. Yes. Because to me, you know, even when I got invited. Yes. Like I came. I stayed, yeah. I did videos with yeah. you, I had yeah. good time and I left yeah. because I like families to have their own time, you know, yeah. and then uh, people just showing up yeah. unannounced. You, you've seen, you've yeah, seen. Yeah, I have seen. And sometimes it's hectic and people come from far 
Others come from near. Yeah. They want to yeah. eat, sleep, yes. nothing. But, <laughs> but yes. here's the thing, okay? Yes. My suggestion. Yes. Uh, maybe people are not bad and yeah. they and they are very inspired by you that's true okay even and me i yeah, acknowledge that not part. just people but yes. the community here also is inspired yes a lot of people are saying you know we're gonna build our home because maro inspired us yeah that's true so guys sometimes it's, uh incidents create uh, tough times you know yeah so not everybody's bad that came here but at the end of the day please be respectful of others yeah. uh even me i wouldn't want somebody you know even you marwa yeah. i wouldn't want you to just show up to my home you have yeah. to say hey i'm in boston I'm, I'm uh, coming. when can we meet, meet or yeah, and i say like come that. to me you know yes. so um but then Please be respectful because it's not just Marwa. Marwa travels. Yeah. Mom is here. Dad is here. Uh, David And Jr. you see is what here. just happened. What like, just happened? You didn't yeah. even know. I called yeah. you. I said, hey, Marwa, why is your dad in handcuffs? Kerkas. I didn't know. Because I came to check yeah. on you because yeah. I did video. Yeah. And I was around the area. I said, yes. hey, let me just go check Marwa. Yeah. And then I saw your dad in handcuffs. Wow. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? And imagine like the reason to that is flowers. Yes. You, you told me I'm laughing. But you know, guys, flowers, uh, flowers. we know the reason, but we, <laughs> yeah. we I, know the reason. But <laughs> I feel like I'm, I'm the most targeted guy right You're now. You're the big fish. I'm the big fish. Yeah. And as much as possible, they want to put me in a police circus, you know? Yeah. And I've been avoiding it. Like in this case, like the kids came to me two times mm. and I said no to it. So my other from now on, yeah. even if you bring chocolate, yeah. we're not buying it. Yeah, we are not. It's simple as that, to be honest. Yes. And I love your mom. I love yeah. your family. Yeah. They have been amazing. Yes. And I don't want people taking advantage of you That's guys. That's true. So you please, know. if you're gonna come, email or Instagram Marwa. Yeah. And Mostly then, email. I'll yeah, put email. Email, email yes. him. Say hey. I really want to come and then make a time and schedule. Okay. Yes. Don't just show up. I'm telling you, if people show up at the gate here. Because you know we wake up and find people already here standing, uh, standing, no, and, and that's not. It's not fair. And actually, I I don't even film those people most of the time. Yeah. But if I filmed, you guys would be like, this is too much. No, no. Yes. I mean, it's it's a it's a inhumane to kind of yeah. like you know show. And now that. all these things are bringing up things up. Yeah. Sometimes people leave our home complaining, like we didn't give didn't give them good food, and these people are never invited. <laughs> First you of know, all, yeah. you know, being ungrateful is yes. something God doesn't like ungratefulness. Yes. Please, seriously, I just yeah. want to say that it doesn't yeah. matter what you believe. Okay, yes. ungratefulness will not take you far. If you eat even a piece of peanut yeah. at somebody's home, you should be thankful. Same thing. Yeah, okay? because uh, because right now I came in. Yeah. If I go to the kitchen now, yes. I know. That care to, uh, take a uh, homekeeper is yeah. gonna come and do uh, some food fruits, for me yeah. because it's a culture, guys. This is nothing that they're just doing it for the video. Yes. It's how uh, people are welcomed, you know. Yes. So please, again, my advice is email Marwa if you wanna come. Kindly. Let him invite you. If you come alone here without any invitation, please be ready to be rejected. To be rejected. Yeah, it's, the, it's the honest truth. Yes. Maro is a nice guy. I honestly, a hundred, like I know him now to, to, to say that. So please, I don't want to see him rejecting people. Just yeah. email him. And people saying, oh, I went to his home, he chased me. Yeah. I will not chase you, I will not just talk to you. Yeah. I know you guys support me, but it should be, prog we should have a process, I, I don't know, yes. a way to fix it. To fix Otherwise, it. we yeah. shall welcome robots And we here. should, you should also have um, CCTV a camera CCTV camera. I suggested that yesterday yes. to Marwa. Yes. Because then that way, if they try to You remember to the, the police came me. here yeah. and they were pulling even flowers which were not. Guys, he was not even here. It was me. They pulling flowers that were already here before I even showed up. Like Imagine. you can see it on Instagram and his YouTube videos. The flowers were already here months ago. But and then they pulling it. And I was pictures. like, what the hell is going on? And yeah. that's actually against privacy. Like, why are you recording somebody's home? You yes. Know? But then again, we know why. We know the reason. Yeah. We don't have to, you know. Guys, let me end this video here. Uh, the next series is coming me and... Marwa. Yes. Genyeda. Genyeda. So stay tuned. Okay. And, uh, please subscribe. To, yeah, tell them subscribe to your channel. So guys, please subscribe to my channel at Genyeda. Um, now it's short. You can say it. Genyeda. Yeah. Say Does it. it still have a check mark? I, I, I can do it. I like you just have to reapply it. Oh, so because you changed your name, the check mark yeah. disappeared. And then you just apply it again. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's easy. Yes. So can you say my name, Maro? Because people said Maro Gen doesn't even know. No, Genyada. Genyada. So guys, please yes. follow me there, and yes. uh, more videos will come. Yes. Good luck with everything. And we shall again, keep you updated. This has nothing to do with me. Yes. I'm a good guest. I'm no, invited. it has nothing. <laughs> I have already explained. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so again, everybody take care. Follow us on Instagram, guys. We shall be giving you some uh, uh, insights. Insights right there. Yeah. All right, guys. Bye bye. bye, -bye.